Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Don Labonte. This begins the ninth hour of uh, studying our conversation patterns. Today, if you go to the um, printout, it is A to V. A is the adjective, V is the verb. Um, if you print this out, this is the printout you see on the left here. You can give that to your students. Once again, first 15 minutes is review of what we've already done to reinforce the patterns, make sure that they're um, focusing on that. In this hour, we begin the um, brief introduction to the adjectives. The first, the first one here is very simple. Um, easy, difficult, hard are the most used. It is easy to understand, it's difficult to understand, it is hard to understand. These are the most uh, commonly used adjective with this pattern. Um, obviously, um, many people, including myself, love to complain. So there's a couple of different variations regarding difficult. And I've written these down here at the bottom. Um, these are other variations. Um, I have a hard time understanding. I have difficulty understanding. I have trouble understanding. I have a difficult time understanding. I have a problem understanding that. Um, you know, if you're, you can introduce a couple of these at a time to the student. They are used a lot. Everyone loves to complain, so this is a great way to um, um, help the help your students complain. Um, I have obviously has a different um, has two ways to say it. I have with the verb. Uh, excuse me. When you ask the question, do is used. Do you have a problem? If you use have I got, have goes into the front. Have you got a problem doing that? Have you got a difficult time understanding? Has he got trouble? understanding it. So these you may want to introduce them to uh, to the students. The uh, second pattern is simply um, in the middle we have any feeling that you can put in here whether it be se whether you're uh, you know I'm glad to meet you I'm glad to go there um, I'm afraid to go there any feeling you can put in here. You can either use it with the verb, I'm happy to do that, or I'm happy that is optional. That is optional. And a sentence, I'm happy uh, you came. I'm happy you want to go. I am sad she died. I'm afraid he will leave. So whenever you have a feeling, you can um, just add a sentence to it. I'm afraid um, she doesn't like me. Imagine that. Um, the next um, pattern is just I am too ver uh, adjective to verb. I am too tired to do it. She's too angry to talk to you. So very simple patterns. Uh, these, the top three patterns, all use uh, to be has to go in the front when a question is made. Is it easy to do? Are you sad to leave? Are you sad he came? Are you too tired to do it? So those use the verb, the uh, to be in the question. Um, the next pattern uses do, did, will in the question form because you do not have am, should, would, can, could in the sentence. Um, I get tired, I became tired, you know, did you get tired, uh, did she become angry, did it get difficult, did he get rich, did he become rich, these are um, identical. Uh, the next pattern quickly is the um, I make him angry, she got me angry. With the verbs we studied, um, I, I make him study. With the adjective, um, it also has a similar, you know, she made me angry. She she got me 
depressed. So, once again, the adjective do, did, will are used in the question form. Uh, the next pattern is um, how difficult is it, how angry was she, how big was it, how expensive was it. It's, very, it's used uh, quite a bit. You know, how expensive is that car, how big is he, how big is your baby, how angry was she. And the funnest part I find in teaching these patterns is the bottom set here. What I do for the students is I draw a simple picture on the board. And um, what I do is these five senses that you have here, she looks beautiful. Anything you hear, it sounds. Anything you smell, it smells. The fourth one, it tastes, it feels, and I feel. So, when you are, um, you can use the same adjective and listen how, it, how uh, more rich the conversation is. You can say, oh, she's beautiful, you can, but if you see anything, you say, she looks beautiful. If you see a, uh, an expensive watch, you could say, it looks expensive. Um, she looks tired, he looks angry. Anything you see... You can say, it looks. It looks, she looks, they look. They look happy together. Anything that you hear, you can use, it sounds. If somebody says, um, you know, it cost uh, $1,000, you can say, oh, that sounds expensive. If you hear somebody with a bad cold, you can say, you know, you sound sick. If you hear somebody on the phone and they're like crying, you can say, oh, you sound uh, sad. Anything you hear is it sounds. Anything you smell, you go into a restaurant, it smells delicious. It smells great. It smells bad. You taste the food, it tastes delicious. It tastes terrible. Uh, you feel the table, it feels hard, it feels soft. When you touch a piece of cloth, it feels expensive, it feels cheap, it feels old. And finally, your feelings. I feel bad. I feel great today. So with the same adjective, you can say, it looks beautiful. Or let's try great. It looks great. It sounds great if somebody has a good idea. It smells great. It tastes great. It feels great. And I feel great. You know, depending on the situation that you have, you can use this. I draw the, the, the um, picture up here to help them visualize how they can use this uh, simple pattern instead of just saying she is beautiful you can say she looks beautiful. You know it is delicious it tastes delicious. Um, you tell me a, a great idea I say oh that sounds great. You touch something it feels wet. You know I feel great your heart the question form of this always uses do. A very common form of this question uses how. 